Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here bringing you another Wild West online video. So yesterday I posted the gameplay video straight to my channel. I didn't get a chance to do a breakdown at the time as I was pretty busy and I didn't have the time to get any kind of viewing of the trailer done. I didn't get to watch it until I actually got to work last night. So I've been able to watch it a couple of times and it doesn't look too bad. I don't think. For a game that not long ago was seeking funding to carry on and then obviously when that picture leaked and everybody thought it was Red Dead Redemption when it wasn't and then they're like oh wow there's another western and it's instantly secured um, their funding from an unknown source you know they haven't done too bad I think it looks alright now I've always said up until this point that I was on the fence about this game but I am still on the fence but it's for a different reason now I was on the fence before because I didn't know if it was a real game or not was it just a cash grab and you was eventually going to get a game but it was going to be so shit that you knew you'd been ripped off but now I'm on the fence simply because I don't know if this game can deliver on the things that it says it can deliver on you know I'm not on the fence no more because I didn't know if it was a real game or not. It obviously is now. We've had a gameplay demo that showed some of the mechanics of the game. So I'm quite convinced that it's going to be a real game and it will come out at some point. But I'm on the fence about whether it can deliver on the things that it can do. But that is the same as any game that is out there. You know, I'm not singling Wild West Online out there. That's the same for every game, you know. Can Destiny 2 deliver on what it says it can deliver on on the PC? We don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see, you know. But there's a lot of controversy around this game, you know, about certain people being involved with it. I'm not gonna go into the names because you've probably heard them all before. But of course, from this guy, they've licensed his engine. I've been reading comments tonight on Facebook and YouTube, and a lot of people have said that he no longer owns the engine, he sold it to somebody else. So I don't know about that, and to be quite honest, I don't care. The game looks quite good. It does say at the start of the trailer that there are some some placeholder assets in place and they are subject to change so that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be changed but from the footage that I can see it looks quite good to me you know I'm not going to diss the graphics they look okay they look pretty good gameplay I don't know I won't know that until I play it it looks okay the only thing I don't like is the fact that it goes into first person I would rather it stay in third person could be an option to do that I don't know yet it's not mentioned in the trailer itself but I find myself being drawn into this argument with a lot of people over whether this game is real, whether it's a scam, whether it is blah 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 because it's launching in its own way it's going to have its own launcher. It's not going through Steam. It's not going through uh, um, early access on there or gone through the now defunct green light process. So, but you've got to ask yourself, how did games launch before all of that? They launched in exactly the same way this game is doing it. You know, they drummed up some interest. They put a few trailers out there, a little bit of gameplay, and then they released the game in whatever way they wanted to. Back in the day, it was always on CD. So, you know, just because they're not following what a lot of people perceive as the socially acceptable way of launching a game through Steam, does that make it a bad game? No, of course it doesn't. It just means that it's unknown, it's not known about, but just because it didn't come through Steam, so what? So it's, like I say, I find myself getting drawn into that argument and I'm just really tired of it now. You know, I just want to get to the alpha of the game and play it and like I say, it's an alpha. This footage is pre-alpha, so you're getting to see something that is nowhere near finished yet, so judge it when it comes out and you get a better perception of it, judge it when you get the beta. You know, we're going to get to play the alpha, but again, you take everything you see in that with a pinch of salt. Once you get to the beta, then you start to get a real idea of what you're going to get as an end result. So I'm going to reserve my judgment for then. Obviously, I have bought the game. I'm going to be in the alpha. I'm going to play it. There's going to be footage of it on the channel. I'm going to give my opinion on it. But I don't want to get drawn into this argument no more over whether it's a scam and who's been involved with it and etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. I'm bored of hearing it now. So, but yeah, it looks okay. The gameplay looks okay. The scenery in it looks good. The graphics look good. Yeah, you don't get to see the menu in the clothing shop so some people have said ah oh, well you know that means it, it's no good as a game or it's just a menu that you didn't get to see so what big deal was you really that interested in seeing it did you want to watch a gameplay video to watch him going through items in a clothing shop no you wanted to see him out in the world you wanted to see what it looked like so you know there's a lot of arguments out there that can be dispelled straight away by just simply watching the trailer from start to finish but it does raise some questions as well at the same time there's a valid argument you know is it going to be asset flipping all the way it does borrow assets from other games so it seems is that necessarily a bad thing 
Mm, yeah, it can be, and it can't be. The sound effects of the horse running don't match the horse's feet, and the sound effects don't change when it goes over different ground. Well, those are all things that will be worked out eventually, I reckon. But, you know, the problem with this game is it's fighting things on a couple of fronts. First of all, it's fighting who it's being linked with. It's fighting that, you know, this guy is well known for cash grab games. So, is this another one of them? They've been at pains to distance themselves from this guy and say that they're only licensing his engine for the game, and that is it. That is the only involvement he's had in this, is simply okay in the license for the, ga for the game engine. But then it's also fighting on the front of, well, it's just trying to be like Red Dead Redemption. I suppose in one way, if you get compared to Red Dead Redemption, which is the daddy of the genre, that's not really a bad thing. That's quite a good thing in my eyes, you know. But then you've got to live up to it, and you've got to try and match it, and you've got to try and better it in some ways. Will they be able to do that? I don't know, but I suppose to get compared to that is a good thing, but it's fighting those things already and I don't think it's really fair to put all of that on the game, you know, we've had the gameplay trailer now, which should dispel a lot of rumours about this game, obviously it's brought some others to the forefront, but wait for the alpha, you know, we've already been told that there is a refund policy on this, apparently we're already getting stories from people that have tried to refund on it and haven't been able to, so I don't know, why would you want to refund on a game you haven't even played yet, you know, you're guaranteed alpha access and then you can refund straight afterwards if you don't want to do that. So for me, I'm just going to stay on the fence as I have been. I'll probably be on the fence for quite a while, but as far as the gameplay trailer goes, I like the look of it. I like the premise of the game. I like what they want to do with it. The only real unknown is whether they can do all of the things that they say they're going to do. But again, time will tell as it does with any game out there. You know, it's not just games from small studios. Games from big studios, they all face the same question. But yeah, I like the the look of it it looks okay to me will it be any good when it comes out who knows there's you know there's a lot of questions like i say but i do like what i see in the gameplay trailer so that's my opinion on this gameplay trailer and um, i'd like to know what everybody else thinks if you watched this gameplay trailer and thought yeah i quite like the look of that i might invest or have you already invested and then watched the gameplay trailer and gone no nope, that's not for me let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. As always, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.